they've thought of a way of sending messages to take the place of telephone and telegraph in case of emergency. It's in the air. They're going to communicate by pigeon post, and birds have been trained by men who had experience of the pigeon post service in the last war. At that time, messages were written on rice paper. Now they're reproduced on tiny films about the size of postage stamps. If necessary, 25 of these films carrying 35,000 words can be packed in the aluminium container attached to the bird's leg. A fleet-footed messenger dashes off with the container to the loft, where Harry Collins, an Erdington bricklayer who has been racing pigeons for nearly 40 years, waits to give one of them the off. And a wink's as good as a nod to any of Harry's homers. So the pigeon postman is heading for his home loft, with what in wartime might be a message of vital importance. Like all his mates, he's a real thoroughbred. Members of his family have done 60 miles an hour in the King's Cup race. Back home again, the message is slipped off the bird's foot and put into a projector, which will give a greatly enlarged view. And here it is. The impression from the tiny stamp is large enough for all to read. The message has been well and truly delivered by the pigeon postman. It's in the air. The